when I go to the store, I usually have my hair pulled all the way back. I don't have anything hanging in my face because I don't want anything kind of getting in this part of my face, which could then touch my, uh, my mouth or my eyes. So when I'm at the store, I usually do that. I have to teach in a few minutes, so I'm trying to look somewhat normal for my students, so I haven't yet put my hair up like that. But with my clean hands before I start anything, I hand sanitize and I put on my mask. Now we don't have the N95 respirator masks, or most of us don't, so we're utilizing this surgical mask. The surgical mask is uh, white on the inside and blue on the outside. The blue side is what goes out. You open your mask because this little piece with the bendy has to go by your nose. So you wanna make sure that that clinks on your nose. So you put your mask on around your ears, you pull it down and you clinch it over your nose. Now, once you have that in place, uh, my hands are still clean. I'm going to put my gloves on. I just have regular gloves. Uh, they don't have to be gloves that you're washing your hands for dishes with. They can be any kind of gloves that you can pick up whatever you can get at this time. We're wearing masks when we go outside because the health experts have now recommended that anytime you go outside that you're going to be with other people, that you have uh, a mask, something covering on your face. There are many places on the internet that are showing how to make these masks out of bandanas and other things. Anything that you can get across your face that will block the particles coming into your nose and mouth would be fine. So I'm chatting, not putting on my gloves, but now my gloves are on. I go into the food store and uh, up by us, they're wiping all the carts down with antibacterial and sanitizer. So I do my shopping. I know what I want to get when I go in there. I'm not perusing the aisles. I'm like on that game show. I am in getting everything that I need. Then I get my bags and I go out to my car. Now you don't want to bring all this into your car. So prior to getting in my car, I remove my, my gloves. I put all my bags inside. Now I have a plastic a tablecloth down in the back of my trunk so that the bags aren't on the carpeting in the back of my trunk. So I put the bags down because the bags are considered dirty. They've been in the store, even if you're using reusable bags or non-reusable bags. Here are my gloves. I have to take them off carefully because my gloves have all the bacteria and viruses on from my time throughout the store and everything that I touched. So you take your first hand and you take the outside of the glove. I'm not touching my skin anywhere. Fold it in, pull it off. With your gloved hand, roll that glove up in your hand. So it looks like this. Now I take this hand and I don't touch the outside. I go inside under the glove, turn my finger and pull it out. And as you see, Everything here is the inside of my glove. This was clean and this is okay. So you can put this down in your car on either a piece of paper towel or if you have a little garbage bag, that would be fantastic because we don't wanna leave these outside. I'm sure you're all seeing gloves everywhere around the food store, so we don't want that. So my gloves go away and now it's time for my mask. I know my hands were inside my gloves, but just in case you touched anything, Get your hand sanitizer again. Sanitize your hands really well. You have to make sure that you're getting in between your fingers. Your nail should be cut all the way down. You have to let it air dry. Don't touch the mask by the front. Come in the back, take the bottom loop, loop the mask off. Now, normally we throw these away. These are one use masks. But times are very tough right now. So some people are actually reusing their own masks. These you cannot put somewhere and be sterilized again because they're just not that type of material. But what I've done is I take my mask, the white is what went against my face. I close it over carefully, I touch the edges, and I hang it on my rear view mirror. When I hang it on my rear view mirror, the sunlight will come in and at least try to get rid of some of that bacteria that's on your mask. 
If you have other masks at home, that's fabulous. Take that mask, take those gloves and throw them away. And when you do that, you need to take your hand sanitizer again, sanitize really well. And now you're gonna get in your car because you don't want to be touching your steering wheel, your rear view mirror and everything while you're in your, in your car. So um, hopefully that was very helpful. I just wanna remind everyone when you take your groceries into your store, uh, sorry, from the store into your house, you wanna make sure you have a clear counter and everything goes in the bags and one by one, you take out the items. You can take just one paper towel and spray some Lysol, something that kills viruses and bacteria, wipe down the items, put them on another part of the counter so they have to air dry. Putting things in the freezer is not going to kill the virus. Okay, this virus can last on surfaces for hours to days. So we wanna wipe off everything that comes in from the store, put it in a separate place, when the bags are empty, you wanna wipe out those bags very carefully inside and out. When they're dry, refold them back up, put them back inside each other. You can put them right back in your car so that they don't stay in your house, but put them somewhere that they're not in the confines of your home. We also never should wear our shoes walking around the house once we've been outside to the food store. When I'm done putting everything away and everything is now dirty, I go directly into the shower, and I take everything off and I shower and I change my, my clothes. I'm lucky that my kitchen is right in off the door. I can get everything done and not uh, bring anything back into my house. So I hope this was helpful and I hope we're all staying healthy. I miss everyone and hope that um, by the end of the summer, we'll all be back teaching again and meeting in Warner 129 to share and collaborate and if anyone has any kind of questions, medical questions on uh, the safest things to do or what to do, my email is K-A-Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, and I'll gladly answer any questions that you have. I'm a critical care nurse. I'm well-versed in taking care of patients like this with COVID. So any questions at all for, uh, that you're concerned about, you're worried about your family members, please reach out to the resources that we have here at Caldwell. You have amazing nurses on staff who would be willing to talk to you and educate as needed. So have a wonderful day, everyone. It's a beautiful day outside here in New York and hope to see you soon. Bye.